Hey guys, uh, Jerry here. Just wanted to uh, welcome everyone uh, to the broadcast this afternoon. Uh, we're just getting kicked off. It's straight up eight o'clock. Uh, this is Tuesday afternoon. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm excited about uh, this information we're about to share with you. I know, I know, there's a lot of guys that may be, you know, familiar with who I am and where I come from and that kind of stuff. So we're going to get into that in just a second, but. Mainly what I wanted to do is put this training together for all of those who could be potentially brand new to the online marketing space or brand new to the home business arena, or you may be involved in the affiliate marketing world, network marketing world. It really doesn't matter, guys. At the end of the day, it's all about uh, you learning and understanding everything that is available to you. Uh, as a marketer, as an entrepreneur, what you need to do to have things up and running and start to create the success that you're looking to create uh, you know, in your business. Uh, I don't know how long you've been doing it. I don't know how serious you are about it. Uh, but guys, I'm telling you, it's very, very simple uh, process. It's just, it takes commitment, of course, on your part. It takes you, uh, you know, doing the right things uh, consistently all the time, not just you know, you jump on one strategy and then you, you you try to, you know, get off into another strategy. You just back and forth, back and forth. And I'd be the first to tell you, uh, it's going to be very difficult for you to have any type of success uh, doing it like that. So just, guys, just hang on with me for a few seconds here. I'm trying to get all these things set up. Uh, I've got some things that I'm looking at and making sure that uh, uh, process got, is just there we go. Turn this down. Got it going. So... We want to make sure everybody is kosher and cool and everybody is uh, able to get logged in. We'll give it a couple more seconds here before we actually get the training started. But again, I want to welcome everyone uh, to the training this afternoon. I'm, of course, your host for today, uh, Jerry Handy Sr. You're out here in the big state of Texas on a nice and cool, comfortable uh, Tuesday night. And let me give you a heads up. Uh, first and foremost, I have a very sensitive microphone, so sometimes my unit will turn on here in the house, and uh, it'll pick up the uh, the air from the mic. So if, if you hear a little sound changing or something gets muffled, just understand uh, that that's what's going on. It's a very sensitive. So it's one of those uh, H4 Zoom microphones that I've got in to plug into a USB. So. Uh, for me, it's a very good quality sound. If you guys are looking for a mic that maybe one you may be interested in getting, if you don't want to spend high dollars on those those boom mics that they have out there. But anyway, it's uh, three after eight. I don't want to be be late for the time. I want to make sure everybody is getting the training that they need. Uh, those that signed up for the training, I appreciate you guys uh, again trusting me with your contact details. And for those who may watch the replay later. Uh, take some good notes, uh, you know, be conscious of uh, what you have going on around you, your cell phones, turn it off, that kind of stuff. Uh, I've got my cell phone here next to me because my wife is, is traveling, she's out of town, and I want to make sure that uh, if something comes through and I've got to respond quickly, uh, that's why my cell phone is here. So otherwise, I would have that dude turn all the way down uh, and not interrupting me, but either way, Let's get it going. Let's get the show road. And again, welcome everyone. Uh, what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to actually start to share my screen with you so uh, you can kind of, you know, watch the presentation along uh, with me, of course, as I do the presentation, but you'll be able to see, you know, as well. So let me do that. And uh, hopefully we won't have any technical glitches or complications. Hope everybody can hear me okay. If you can't hear me, just say, man, I can't hear you. Oh, I guess if you can't hear me, you can't hear me saying, can you hear me? Uh, so maybe I can type something here in the chat to see if uh, everyone can hear me. Let's see. And every one here. Okay. All right. You can respond to the chat there if you can. Uh, that would be awesome. That would be great. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Sounds cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
This is wonderful, man. It, you know, for me, man, it's really uh, it's a it's a good thing. It's an awesome thing to be able to uh, work from home and to conduct business and to be able to speak to you guys all across the world. And I've got a lot of people. You know, I was checking my uh, my stats here just the other day, and I've got a lot of people that are uh, coming from the United Kingdom. I have a lot of people that are added being added to my list, pretty much almost on a daily basis from the United Kingdom. So. Uh, hats off to all of you guys, those that are on uh, currently and those that are watching the replay. I really appreciate you guys uh, trusting me again with your contact details. But let me get into the training. So let me, let me uh, jump uh, and share my screen here, and we'll get right into uh, the actual training for today. So hold on one second. Hopefully we can get this thing working right. I think last time I did this, it was a uh, it kind of a <clears throat> threw me for through me for a loop, but I think we may have a handle on it now, but let's just check and see. Give me one second. Let me share my screen and we'll get right into it. All right. Let's see. Share the screen. Let's go to desktop. Let's start screen share and present to everyone. And let me pull up the presentation here. We should be good to go. So hopefully everyone can see the presentation as it just popped up on your screen. Uh, it has big old bold letters, how to build a highly responsive email list for your business, how you can get more for your business, increase your profits, and maximize your return on investment. This is a very, very uh, important training topic that you're going to uh, learn tonight. Uh, I promise you guys that once you get a handle on this and understand the ins and outs of how simple this process is, you will see that it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, uh, a lot of people, you know, make out list building as something that is, you know, so secretive, so uh, I don't know the word I actually want to use. So not necessarily secretive, but it's, it seems like it's such a big, big deal uh, for you to build a list. And once you understand uh, the simplicity of how, it's, uh, how it works, then you can do it, and you can do it uh, at a very, very uh, successful rate. All right, so let's just dive right into it. Let me, before I get into it, I want to just say a little bit about myself for those who may not be aware of who I am. Of course, my name is Jerry Handy Sr. Uh, that's me. I'm actually at one of our uh, church services. I just got out of church service, and uh, my wife, I think for whatever reason, want to take a picture of me there. So I got that picture snapped. Uh, a little bit about me, of course, I've got my first taste of the entrepreneurial world back in the early 80s. And I know, guys, that sounds like a long time ago, and it actually was a long time ago, but I graduated in the uh, early 80s, about 1983. Uh, that's how long I've been out of high school. So yeah, I just turned 50. I'm going on 51 this coming December. Uh, but that's when I got my first piece of the entrepreneurial world. Uh, for me, residual income, it was very, very attractive. I like the idea of doing you know, something one time and continually re reaping re the results of it over and over and over again. So, uh, you know, it was a friend of mine that actually introduced me to it, a uh, guy that was here local, told me about it. Matter of fact, back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember, <laughs> it's, a, it's a company called, it's a big A word, uh, for those that may be familiar. Matter of fact, I think it's still around. It's called Amway. Yeah, they are still around. Amway Global or something to that effect. But that was my first taste of the uh, entrepreneurial world as far as the multi-level world is concerned. So I jumped in, you know, both feet, everything, hook, line, and sinker. They had me hooked because they drew the circles. They showed me showed me about the uh, residual income aspect of it and how it actually set you up and get your time freedom back and financial independence, all these things that were coming through that were very, very attractive for any person uh, that wanted to have success or even change careers uh, going forward in their lives. So what I end up doing is building a local team and uh, 
pretty quick. I was able to rank in the in that company, uh, in the MLM company. Uh, you know, pretty pretty quick. Uh, had you know was create. I mean, we had a lot of momentum here in the area. Uh, it was a company that after the a Amway company, of course. You know, I, I was in this other company uh, called A N American Communications Network, where they're involved in the uh, long distance. There was a telecommunication field. They ended up having some uh, electrical services and things like that that came on later, later on cell phones, things of that nature. Uh, so it was a lucrative company, debt-free company. You know, integrity in the ownership and the leadership. Uh, it was just a. It was a good company. We had a lot of group around the country uh, that were involved. You know, we were a part of a group that was called, uh, if I remember correctly, was Tag Team Marketing. And, uh, of course, we traveled all over the country, California, New Jersey, just, you know, Ohio. We was all over the place with this company. Just, just, just how serious I was about, you know, being successful and working a company. Uh, so with that one, of course, you know, people quit, people joined, people quit. So it just kind of made me feel hard on us, uh, you know, over time. And, you know, I got into this little circle of trying a multiple different opportunity. So, of course, multiple companies. Seemed like nobody ever sticks with one. So that's where I was, trying multiple companies. Uh, and a little bit more, I'm a married man, of course, for 20 years. Uh, my wife, her name is Sheila. Uh, we've got five kids together and uh, four, four grandkids. And of course, we've got one on the way that is due around May of this year, of uh, 2015. For me, I have a passion, guys, for you know, helping teaching and empowering uh, individuals. Uh, I believe in you know, people being educated, people having uh, a knowledge base uh, that gives them an opportunity to be successful. Without that knowledge base, uh, it's going to be very difficult. You know, I remember in, in, in scripture says, uh, the people perish because they have a lack of knowledge. And not just from a spiritual standpoint, but that's even from a worldly standpoint or from a, uh, you know, a business standpoint, you have to have knowledge in order to be able to function properly and get yourself in a position where you can, uh, have a chance to win in life. Uh, and as I said earlier, I live here in the deep East Texas area in a city called Lufkin, Texas. It's about an hour and a half uh, north of Houston, Texas. Okay, just right up the road uh, here from uh, from Houston. And from, we, we visit different places around here, Houston, Dallas, what have you. But that's where I'm located, kind of give you a ge geographical location as to where I'm at. Uh, hobbies are dog training, believe it or not, and watching high school football. For those that or familiar or aware of the state of Texas. Texas is huge. I mean, huge for football. A number of quarterbacks come out of Texas that enter into the National Football League. A lot of uh, individuals who uh, uh, went to school here, of course. You got Texas Tech, you got University of Texas, you got Texas A&M, you've got Baylor, you got all those schools around here. I mean, within driving distance of me. Uh, you've got uh, TCU, right up the road there, Dallas. Just so many schools around here. So Texas is huge for high school football. And uh, I spent a lot of my Friday nights in football season watching high school football and following our team to the uh, playoffs. We pretty much go every single year. Uh, but the dog training part, of course, that's something that I've been doing for a long time. I really, really enjoy. It's training in general, uh, just to be able to go out and teach obedience or teach some type of uh, skill for my dog to learn. I have a uh, four-year-old uh, Belgian Malinois, as we call them, M-A-L-I-N-O-I-S, Belgian Malinois. Hopefully here in the not-so-distant future, I'll be able to show you some video or maybe some pictures of what she looks like. She's a nice-looking dog, very high-energy dog, and I have a lot of fun with her when I have time to go out and, and play with her. Uh, and also, last, guys, I'm a minister here at a local non-denominational church since 1990, so if you hear a lot of these scripture references come forth, just who I am, I don't apologize for that. Uh, if that's an issue for a lot of people, then that's that's got to be an issue for you guys because that's my foundation. That's where I stand. That it is what I do, and uh, and and that's what propels me. That's what that's who has blessed me to be where I am and what I do uh, to this day. 
Uh, I give all the glory and all the praise and all the honor to God Almighty. Without him, I am absolutely nothing. So a little bit about my family. You can see me there on the right in the blue shirt. Of course, my wife is right next to me in the white shirt. And that's my son. He's, he's a junior. He's Jerry Handy Jr. That's why I always say Jerry Handy Sr. so we won't get mixed up. Uh, so that's my son. And sitting right in front of my son is his wife and his baby daughter. Uh, and in front of my wife is my uh, one. That's my middle daughter, uh, Kalencia, and her daughter, Nalia. And of course, in front of me is my baby daughter, Destiny, and my one of my youngest, one of my other granddaughters, uh, Kyra. And there's a couple of them that are missing. This was a picture we took at church one evening. We were getting out of service, and we just all snapped it to real quick. So uh, a couple of my kids are missing. So uh, I want to make sure that you guys are aware that there are more. <laughs> and as I said, the, the one in the middle, my the daughter, right, uh, sitting in front of my wife there, that's the one that's about to have another baby here in May. All right, so let's fast forward. It's enough about me. Let's get into what we're really here to discuss, and that's the list building and how you can actually build a responsive list that of individuals who, who for one, open up your emails and who want to who want to hear from you. All right, so here we go. I came online in uh, 2010, probably early part of 2009, but I kind of officially started doing things in 2010. And uh, I started the blog. Of course, I got outsourced by a guy that's actually here locally. Uh, he got it fixed up for me. This is not the actual blog theme that I started out with, but this is the evolution of where I started uh, from 2010. Here it is five years later, uh, February 2015. New look of the homepage of my blog uh, since starting. All right, I had no formal training. Uh, I bought into a lot of the hype and persuasive. Uh, sales letters, wasted thousands, guys, uh, trying to find success just like a lot of other people do. I mean, I get it, man. You come on and you do the best you can to try to, to make something happen and you just get involved in so many different things and you buy so many things and you waste a lot of money. you in and out of these programs and I definitely feel you and I know where you're coming from. I mean, from buying the software that you, you need, plugs in, plugins, program, after program, opportunity after opportunity, and nothing actually started to pan out for me. You know, but I, I didn't, you know, the thing about me is I am not a quitter. So I kept on putting, kept on pounding, kept on going forward until I finally run across a mentor uh, who, in all actuality, uh, showed me the ropes, you know, to put it lightly. Uh, basically taught me the secret to what made the successful marketers successful. And, uh, you know, he just kind of opened up the, the door, so to speak, and just allowed us to come in. And uh, it just took me on as a, as a student. And you know, for me, man, I'm a, I'm a, I soak up knowledge. I soak up, you know, information. I want to learn. I want to be able to grow. I want to be able to, uh, you know, do the things that I know that I can do. But the only way you can do that is you have to get the education. So he became a coach, mentor, and uh, and believe it or not, an online business partner. And then, and only then, I finally started to make real money. And I'll share some results with you in just a second. As you can see, this is uh, some results from one of my uh, programs that I'm, uh, I'm involved in. I've got at least, I know I've got at least two programs. Of course, got some other affiliate off that we do that are assisting individuals as well. This is. Uh, some uh, a screenshot of some recent posts from this September through uh, the end of December of 2014. As you can see, uh, $2,780.14 uh, since hooking up with a mentor learning and beginning to understand how the process works and what it is that you have to do uh, coming online and what it is that you need to have in place and how you can set up your own system to where it starts to generate leads and traffic and sales for you. This is real deal, guys. This is not pennies. This is not, you know, a couple of hundred dollars here. This is real money. Four-figure commissions that we started to earn pretty much on a consistent basis because we learned what to do and how to do it. It all starts with, of course, lead generation. All right? So what was the secret? Well, and some people, you know, you can throw that word secret around, but it's not really a secret. It's just a skill set that you have to learn. 
I remember a guy telling me here, it was another mentor of mine that I ran across several years ago uh, that was sharing some things with me. And he began to tell me that there are no real secrets, you know, when it comes to online marketing. The issue is, guys, is that you have to, uh, it's just like Michael Jordan. It's just like Tiger Woods. It's just like individuals like that who have, they're nothing special. The only thing they did was they developed their skills. You know, they become more skill, skillful in basketball. They became more skillful uh, in playing golf. And because of them becoming skillful in those different uh, avenues or niches or careers, you know, individuals began to, you know, seek them out and want to pay them and want to be a part of their audience and things like that. So their skills basically uh, attracted, you know, the finances of money to where they're now with people because of what they learned. And it's the same thing when it comes to online marketing or lead generation is that you have to develop the skill to know how to do this. And it's not, again, it's not hard. As I said, well, I'm going to share that with you in just a second. You'll see what I'm talking about. But the secret for the most part, guys, is attracting quality traffic. Well, what is quality traffic? Quality traffic is traffic that is interested in what it is that you have to offer. Okay. It's targeted traffic. It's individuals that are coming to, uh, they are attracted to you because of, of the, let's say, for example, you're involved in the online business arena, right? Uh, you're involved in the home business arena. And for the most part, you've got to, how should I put it? you got to, you got to, I guess, sit down and think about what it is that you have to offer your, your, your audience at first. Once you figure out what it is you have to offer your audience at first, okay, then and only then you'll know which audience to go after, right? So when you go after the right audience of individuals, if you're in a home-based business, network marketing, uh, internet marketing, then, of course, you want to go after individuals who are interested in home-based business, internet marketing, network marketing, affiliate marketing, Whatever it is, you want to go after those individuals. And when you go after those individuals, you are going after quality traffic. Quality traffic, not garbage traffic. Does it make sense for you to be in the affiliate marketing world and you go after individuals who are interested in dog training or who people who want to uh, learn more about cycling? You get my drift? So quality traffic is only quality uh, from a relative standpoint of what it is that they're interested in that you have to offer. All right. So after you attract the, the traffic, then you've got to convert that traffic into leads. And how do you do that? Well, you have to offer a high value lead bait. If someone is involved in the online business world, of course, they're interested in how to do a business online. You know, they're interested in how to set up a website. They're interested in how to set up a blog or a, uh, a responder series or whatever it is. They're interested in how to generate leads or whatever. You, you get my drift. So you have to find something that, that, that is attractive to them, that's going to attract them uh, to you. So you have to have that high-value lead bait. And we'll get into that in just a second as well. And on the flip side, after you offer the high-value lead bait, then you want a congruent high-value front end offer initially after they opt in to your capture page. Well, why would you do that? Well, sometimes traffic generation is not always free. You can go in and get, uh, of course, or I should say utilize free traffic methods like uh, traffic from Facebook or traffic from articles or forums or anything like that. And then uh, once you get that traffic there, you can, uh, of course, you can have that traffic go right to your offer. And when they get to your offer, of course, what's going to happen? They're going to either buy your offer or they're not. Okay. But that was free traffic. Now, free traffic, of course, it's going to cost you something, right? It doesn't cost you money per se, but it costs you your time. But when it flips over, you say, okay, well, I'm no longer wanting to. Uh, uh, attract free traffic or go after free traffic. I want to be just pay for my traffic. But when you pay for your traffic, that means that you have a cost that is incurred. And if you have a cost that is incurred, then you want to be able to try to recoup 
some of your costs, right? Only makes sense. Now, initially, you may not get it all, but you can get some of it. So to way to counteract that, that cost, the way you can maybe get some back is to, after they, as I just said, opt in for your high value lead bait, then you're going to promote a congruent high value front end offer to them. Okay, if they're interested in how to generate leads for free on Facebook or whatever, give them a free report that's, you know, that's explaining how they can do that. And then right after they opt in, you may want to offer them a video course that's explaining the same thing. Oh, maybe, you know, maybe 27 months. Whatever you I value congruent front end offer so you can potentially recoup some of your investment that you spent on your traffic spend in whatever method you use uh, to get that traffic. So how did I build my list? All right. What I did was, and this is just my personal experience, all right, I drove that traffic to a lead capture page. All right. And I'll show you what a lead capture page looks like in just a second. I offered a solution for the lead free of charge. You see the difference? I brought them to a lead capture page and I offered them a solution to the issue. The reason I say solution to your issue, and the reason I said earlier that you've got to know what it is you offer, you know what it is that you're trying to address, is the need is concerned uh, to your prospect. Because the idea is always thinking about what your prospect needs. Okay? If you're in the home business arena, if you're in the network marketing arena, if you're in the affiliate marketing arena, always think about what your market needs. Your market needs leads or they need traffic leads and sales if you're involved in the online business arena so i would try to find something along that line that met the that they were looking for that they think about that they spend the night you know up being concerned about how they're going to be able to do this for anybody that's on in business online of course they're looking for this type of stuff so you need to put yourself in position where you can offer this type of stuff. So when they come to your website, it's an easy conversion for you because you've already got into the mind of your prospect. That is the first key and the first step of having success when it comes to lead generation is to get in the minds of your prospect and figure out what it is that they are looking for and you be there as a reliever of pain or one who brings the solution free of charge okay and next step what do we do we capture the contact information well there it takes a, a uh, of course in order for you to capture the contact information you got to have what you got to have a lead capture page and again i'll show you what that looks like in just a second and afterwards we followed up with the high value education and this guy i got to get you yeah, get you to understand that this is niche related Okay, if you're in dog training, of course, you may have some dog training tips that you may want to follow up in an in a email follow up series that you want to present. In. Of course, you're in online marketing, you want to follow up in some type of education that can continue to e equip them, and teach them, and, and share tips and strategies to help them in their business so that uh, you can continue to uh, provide that, that further value. Okay, and then last but not least. You can continue to provide additional resources that help them accomplish their desires. You know, if you are in online marketing, again, guys, uh, an autoresponder is a resource, right? That's a resource that they need, especially if they're concerned about list building or they want to build a list. An autoresponder is something that you could recommend to them to further add value to their quest for success in their business. All right, now here is an example of a capture page. And this is actually a two-phase lead capture page. And what it does is it allows me to, of course, have a presence online. I drive the quality traffic to this page, not this one in particular. This is the one that we ran a campaign on here just a few months ago, okay? And as you can see in the capture page uh, copy, it says free video reveals. So what is the lead magnet? What is the lead bait? What is the high value offer that we're giving for free? A free video that reveals what? 
How to struggle in online marketing, make thousands online in a few weeks with a very simple but effective marketing system and how you can too. You see how I focused on them. It wasn't about me. Yes, I tell my story, but secondly, I'm adding and including and bringing them into my world and saying, you can do the same thing too, okay? And what does the uh, follow-up message say? Learn how Jerry was able to take your business to a whole new level without having a website, even email marketing list, or even picking up the phone to call prospects. Works even if you're a newbie and no technical skills required. Now, let's take click that button, show me the system. There is a drop-down box that will open up and allow them to enter their email address inside of that form. And when they enter the email address, guess what happened? We just generated our first lead. See how simple it was? I drove quality traffic to a capture page. They click on the button, show me the system, because they want the free video. They enter their contact details, and they get, get redirected to the video that shared with them how I was able to make thousands online in a few weeks. See how simple that was? Quality traffic to a capture page, and now the information has been captured, and now the process starts, okay? As you can see, here's a screenshot from uh, November 2014, and I could have put a whole lot more on here, but I don't have a whole lot of room, and it wants to take too much time. But this campaign that we did specifically uh, with, that, with that capture page, we drove quality prospects leads, I mean, quality traffic to the capture page, and then we started to collect leads. And these they were coming in pretty much all day that day and the days beyond. And they still come in to this day. Not necessarily to this capture page, but I've got lead baits and lead magnets all over my site and all over uh, other sites on the web as well. So the leads start to come in. Then what? Okay. You say, woohoo, I got leads coming in. Now what do I do? Well, the first thing I would recommend is don't slam them with mobile offers after offers. We're talking about how you can create, how you can you can um, generate a highly responsive list of individuals. Highly responsive. Well, what does responsive mean? That means if you generate a lead, okay, and you send an email out to that, okay, generate the lead, the lead goes into your autoresponder, okay? And the autoresponder, of course, it's going to, if you have the letters set up to where you automatically sending out emails, you know, uh, from your autoresponder. In other words, you got a series already set up, multiple letters. It may be six or seven, or you may have 10 over the span of 30 days that automatically goes out on day one. They get the first email, then three, get another email. All that can be set up automatically. Well, set up. Well, for one, again, as I said earlier, you have to think about what it is that they want, what it is they need, what it is that they need a solution for. So how do you find that? Sometimes all you got to do is just ask questions. Ask questions on what they need with. And then 
provide that help. All right. And the other thing, guys, you got to take on a leadership role. These are individuals opted in to your subscriber list. They're now on your newsletter. Now they're willing and open to listen to you because they saw value in what it was that you had to offer. And when you have shown them the value in what it is that you have to offer, then now they are looking to you as their leader. Okay, it doesn't matter if you've been online for six months or two months or one month, they are looking for you as their leader and they want you to lead. So be their online educator and their mentor. All right, be their online educator and their mentor. Right, and when you do that, I have it. Check it on my other screen. I think we may have an issue here. One second, guys. One second. <clears throat> Okay. I think we, hold on one second. All right, let me see something here. We lost, well, if we lost connection. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to continue, and I think we may have lost connection on, on some, but anyway, uh, but anyway, don't uh, you don't have to have years of experience, guys, okay? You don't have to be an expert at this and that. Some people think they've got to learn so many things uh, that they really never get anything done. So just understand you don't have to do that, okay? Some people, for the most part, may be two months behind you, right? You're two months ahead of them. If they're two months behind, you're two months ahead of them. That means you have two months of education and training and mentoring and development and experience that you have that you now can offer to your uh, subscriber list, okay? You have value to offer. Get what you've learned, guys, all right? And okay, so what, what resources do you need to accomplish this? Let's just dig into that. It's the tools that you need. You need campaign software, all right? We're still talking about building a list. And you can you know can find this from a number of different uh, sources: lead pages, optimized press, ten minute pages, uh, Insta Builder, uh, uh, so forth and so on. There's a uh, Thrive uh, landing page software. All those different platforms that are out there, that you guys can use and you can utilize uh, to your benefit, right? And secondly, you need an autoresponder, and you can get that from Aweber, get response, MailChimp, Infusionsoft, et cetera, so forth and so on. These are things that's pretty much been around for a long time. And if you're not familiar with these things, of course, you can get hold of me, and I can show you how to get access to that. And then the last thing I would recommend, highly, highly recommend, uh, is a, a blog. And you brand through your blog. Let me say it like that. You brand through blog. And the blog is what it's going to be is a it's going to be a a hub an online hub for you to be able to communicate with your leads with your prospects with your subscribers you'll be able to uh, you send them that's that's going to be one of your follow up emails you can send a follow up email to them and direct them to your blog so you can continue to build the relationship with them uh, have this no like and trust factor thing going on so you won't have a uh, you won't have a uh, a problem with that. So just that would be great, great, great for you to get that in your hands. I highly recommend uh, that you get a blog. All right, so let's just get the process. Let's just see how it all flows. As you can see in this diagram, we've got the traffic, okay? Are we talking about building a list, okay? It doesn't matter if you're brand new to internet marketing. This is the same process that people who, who make millions of dollars online this is the exact same process that they go through every single day. It could be a little bit more sophisticated. We can add a, you know, a couple more pages in there, uh, a couple more exit thing, exit pops and things like that. Uh, we can put another thank you page in there, but all of that is unnecessary for starting out. All you need is a capture page uh, and an offer. 
to be able to uh, capture leads. Okay, so we got traffic going to a capture page, right? Traffic going to a capture page, and we're going to have a high value offer on the capture page. And what we want to do is have something that they uh, need for their business. We're going to teach them a strategy. We're going to give them a report. We're going to give them a video. We can give them an audio. We can give them some type of free software. Anything of value that your market needs. Okay. If you are, it was I was talking to a gentleman here just the other day. Uh, he's into the uh, scholarship business. He's he's actually got a business where he's he's uh, he's wanting to start helping individuals, you know, with their kids get scholarships once they come out of high school. Well, all he's got to do is just put, you know, some little free report that that he basically learned because he went through the process. He can teach them one of the strategies he used uh, to get his kids scholarship, and he can give that away for free. Okay. So once he targets his, his his market correctly, once he's tapping into the quality traffic that is looking for what it is that he have to offer, then all he's got to do is get that traffic to his capture page. And all he's got to do on his capture page is put something to the effect of, uh, you know, kid getting ready to go to college, need scholarship money or need free money for education or whatever. Free report reveals how I was able to get $32,000 for my child you know, in uh, in less than you know nine days uh, through this strategy or whatever, you just enter your contact details and I'll send a report right out to you free of charge, and boom, he's got a quality lead that's interested in it and what it is that he have to offer. Now, what he could also do after they opt into the page to get the free report, he could have another free offer of video that's similar to the the, uh, the report that he sent. He can maybe have a video series that he's put together that's going to walk them through the same process to give them a little bit more in-depth detail. See how congruent it is? It's not something totally different. It is congruent with what he had on the capture page. And now what he can do is set this, this video series for, you know, 27 bucks, 47 bucks, 97 bucks, or whatever it is, or even $7. It's whatever he can do especially if he's driving uh, pay traffic, then he can have an offer there to recoup some of his uh, expand on the traffic. Now, this is a kicker. Sometimes your individuals that have come to the uh, capture page, they hit the capture page, uh, and they opt in, but they don't necessarily go to the, to the high-value offer and buy it, right? So after they opt in, what happens? You see the arrow going down? That means that now they're being entered into your email, okay? They didn't get your value, high value offer. They didn't pay you for the offer. Now they get put it on your email list, okay? So what happened? They came in, they saw your capture page, they earned their contact details, okay? And you can have your name, email, whatever you want to put there. I would prefer that you just put an email address there for higher conversions. Okay, and then once they hit that email, uh, put that email in there, they're going to go on your email list or your subscriber list or your newsletter list. Okay, then what did we say earlier? Now you have an opportunity to follow up with them and build a relationship because initially, nine times out of ten, individuals are not going to buy your offer right out of the gate. But that's why you capture their contact details. And let me just say this real quick for those who are involved in network marketing and they send traffic directly to the company's corporate website. The, the downside to sending traffic to a corporate website is that you have no way of collecting the lead. You have no way of collecting the lead, and because of that, you have no way of following up with the lead. Yeah, of course, your company gets the lead. Maybe they have your back office where you can see the information there, what have you. But what happens if you leave that company? If you leave that company, then you leave the leads in the company. But if you had your own system, what would happen? You can now use that lead anywhere you want to use that lead. You can present any type of offer that you chose to present to that lead because you now own the list. Okay? As I said earlier, the list is the greatest asset that you'll ever have online. Or if I didn't say it earlier, I'm saying it now. Your list is the greatest asset that you'll ever have online because now you have an opportunity where you can continue to, of course, provide value, give them education, 
and give them information that will assist them and continue to provide resources that they may need to utilize, i.e. all under capture page software, things that your domain names, whatever it is that the marketer needs online, you are in a position to be able to follow up with them and give them that solution for their for their uh, for their business right now and this is one thing I wanted to put in here just to show you that there is a way that you can have an endless supply of leads I've already shown you that you of course got to have the capture page in place you need your software you need your uh, capture page software whether it's lead pages optimized press 10 minute pages uh, thrive landing pages whatever it is you have something online that you can get for a little and of course then you have in your autoresponder, this Aweber, get response, MailChimp, Infusionsoft. You've got all that stuff set up. And now you've got, uh, you know, you, you have a system, right? You have a system in place. And your system is in place to produce over and over and over again, right? This is one thing that, this is one benefit of coming online that you can set this up and you can pretty much forget it. Of course, you want to. Watch it, tweak it, optimize the word converts better for you over time, but that's not something you're really, really concerned about at, at, at first. All you want to do is start generating leads. And when you get it to start generating leads, you want it to put, you set, put yourself in a position where you have an endless supply of leads. And the way you do that, guys, is of course you can launch out, scale up, begin to put more uh, you know, pages up in different locations, drive more traffic for free traffic, more. Uh, pay strategies, solo ads, Facebook marketing, PPC, Google PPC, YouTube PPC, whatever strategy you want to use, you can continue to do that. But the way you ramp up and again keep this list responsive is to focus on giving value. And that's education, information, that's things that you think about that's going to help your prospect, that's going to help your lead, that's going to help your uh, subscriber. Okay. Don't be pitchy, don't be uh, in promotion after promotion because, again, as I said earlier, that's going to cause your open rates to take a nosedive, and you don't want that. All right? Remember that. And secondly, uh, become an authority figure or an alpha marketer in your niche. Okay? When you become an authority, that means that people look up to you. You have provided so much valuable content and information that they want to want to connect with you, stay in touch with you. You know, I don't know if you guys have noticed something that I I do consistently is I'm always putting out you know videos or some type of articles to follow my blog. You see, if you may be even on the blog watching this replay or whatever uh, the case is, you know, for those of you that are live, thank you for being live. But for those that may watch this later then uh, you'll, you'll see that I don't just say this stuff. This is not theory. This is something that I do all the time. All the things that I think that I put on the blog is all about value. It's all about education. It's all about information that's going to assist. Check every post that I have, and you'll see it's about value, building relationships, get, letting people get to know who I am. I get to understand where I come from, uh, just, just knowing my story, and that I'm no different than them. And, uh, and they're no different than me. What I'm doing, they can do. And what, you know, they're doing, I can do. We all have the opportunity that is stretched out before us. What you got to do is take action on what it is that we have before us. All right. And lastly, as I said, be, become, become that authority figure, okay? Become that alpha marketer in your niche, whatever niche you're involved in, and create an online presence. As I said earlier, that's one of the biggest things I can recommend to you is uh, get a blog and you use that blog as a central hub. It's like headquarters. This is where everything can be found out about you. Everything, all of your traffic, you want to drive it to, of course, the capture page, uh, but you want to also get people on your blog uh, from Facebook, from YouTube, from articles, from any of the social sites. You want to get everybody to your blog because that's where they're going to get to know everything about you okay you can send some things in email and you can tell some stories in email and things like that but the blog is going to be where you have videos images pictures of your family things like that where they can get to know you uh in a more personal and more real way ask questions leave comments on your blog posts 
you know, because it's all about engagement. You want to engage in your audience. Not just, you know, or something like that, or they send you an email and you never respond. You can't have a high risk list if you never communicate them. Okay, if they ask questions, answer their questions, no matter how difficult it is. Answer the question. And the other thing, guys, is be uh, authentic, be real, be genuine, be honest, have integrity, uh, don't lie, tell the truth. Uh, whatever you say, make sure you fulfill it. Let your word become a law, guys. That's how you build trust. That's how you build credibility. That's how you build people uh, that will continue to stay engaged with you and people that will uh, will trust what it is that you say. And they're going to be a whole lot more responsive because they know anytime you send something out, it's got to be something that is legit. It's got to be something that is authentic. It's something that is real, something that you put your name on because they know who you are. They trust you as the authority, as the person that is leading them, as their mentor, their coach. Again, it doesn't matter if it's two months online for you. They're just getting started, and they don't know what you know. Just remember, you always have value. So create that online presence. Use your blog as a central hub. All right? So that's pretty much it, guys, as far as the presentation. And we're pretty much on time. We're 852, uh, right at an hour, which is what I was planning on. And hopefully uh, you guys, you know, got value, serious value from that. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here real quick is, uh, pop this out, get back into video mode here, and st stop screen share. Okay. And get back to the presentation. We can get there. Can we get there? There we go. We're back. All right, guys. Really, really appreciate you know, uh, the guys, uh, the you guys for for stepping out and getting out on a Tuesday afternoon and uh, spending some time with us. Uh, you know, I know that I did an 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 outstanding job of expressing and explaining all of the intricacies of how this thing works as far as lead generation and how you can uh, start to build your own list. You know. These are things that I've learned over the over the months and over the over the years that have helped me tremendously. It's got me in a position to where now I'm starting to generate leads every single day on autopilot. I don't have to touch it, you know, because the lead bait is in place, right? Capture plate capture page is in place, the offer is in place, the email follow-up series is in place, the blog is in place, right? And the communication, the engagement is in place, and we're doing the things that we know we should be doing uh, consistently uh, to be able to help those who have reached out. Understand this, guys, that people, when they put their contact information in your capture page, reach it now. They're saying, help me. I like what you have to offer. Can you help me? Okay? And that's what they're doing. They just want you to know that, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm serious about it. And let me say this as well. I understand that you will get you will get some people that will jump on your list that are just freebie seekers. They go from one list to the next looking for anything they can get for free. Okay. As I said, I think in a previous blog post is that you, you have a message for a select group of individuals. And everybody, for the most part, won't stick around to hear your message. Some will come on your list. Some will unsubscribe. The blog says you should absolutely love when you have unsubscribes. Why should you love when you have unsubscribes? That's kind of odd and strange that you want people to opt out of your list. Well, the name of the game for us guys is that we bring value. We're not pitching. We're not promoting, you know, heavily all day, every day. We are marketers who bring value. That means we come to bring our information to you that's going to change your life for the better, okay? If you want information to change your life, we're there for you. If you don't want that information to change your life, then there's no reason for you to even be on our list, right? So there is no value exchange. We can't help them. They can't help us. Help us. And long story short, they probably would never buy from you anyway. 
All right? That's the second point. Third point is, and I said this here in a blog post here the other day as well, is that individuals who get off of your list actually save you money. Because for every person that you have on your list, the autoresponder service charges you a certain fee up to. It's like if you have up to uh, you know, 500 people on a certain on a list, you know, they charge you, you know, the lowest rate. Anything beyond 500, you begin to pay a higher rate. Okay, and then anything beyond 10,000, you begin to pay even a much higher rate. Okay, so the person on your list is costing you money. So if they're not there to have the value exchange, okay, where you can help them, and of course, if you need, if you have resources that can that can continue to assist and help them, and you recommend those resources to help them in their business. And they're not willing to buy those resources, then they're not really serious about what it is they're trying to buy. And say, so just get that understood, you know, quickly. And you know, the quicker you get that, the quicker you begin to grasp that uh, you there with value, you there to help, you there to assist. Then the easier it is going to be for you to just let things go. All right. And that's what you know. That's that's one thing that a lot of people don't get. You know, list building is easy. List building is really simple. But just understand the process of list building is uh, is uh, is a consistent thing. You got to do it consistently. You know, you there's a lot of different ways that we can share with you as far as how you can uh, build from different sources. Like I said, I've already mentioned the free sources. I've already mentioned some of the paid sources. But there's a number of different traffic generation strategies out there. The idea is that you got to have your thing in place before the traffic gets there. Okay. Right, you gotta have your thing in place before the traffic get there. If the traffic ever gets there, <laughs> then you, of course, won't be able to generate any leads. All right, so uh, let me check something here. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys tonight. If there is uh, any any uh, questions that you have, I want to make sure that I answer those questions. I've been rambling here for a second. And I don't want to miss out on any of you guys' questions. Well, we got a couple minutes here. It's right at 8.58. Again, this is Tuesday afternoon. Uh, again, I want to appreciate each and every one of you guys for, you know, hanging out with us on tonight and doing the do here. It's been uh, an absolute privilege and pleasure of mine uh, to share uh, in this uh, webinar. And again, for those who are catching the replay, um, hopefully uh, you got some value out of this as well. You can always hook up with me. Uh, I pre prefer, of course, uh, that you find me on Facebook at facebook.com uh, forward slash Jerry Handy Senior. That's facebook.com forward slash Jerry Handy Senior. All right, guys, this again has been Jerry Handy Senior. Coming to live here from Deep East Texas in a little town called Lufkin, Texas. I uh, hope you guys had an awesome uh, time this afternoon. And I don't see any questions, so I'm going to bounce off. And uh, as one of my friends say, put a bow tie in this one tonight, and we'll catch you guys on the next Hangout webinar uh, in uh, in the not so distant future. I'll definitely give you an update as far as when we want to do that. So keep your eyes peeled on the email coming forth guys appreciate it uh till next time god bless we'll, we'll talk to you guys take care